Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome to Staff Gymnasium for another edition of BCA Sports. Today, we've got ourselves a barn burner between the Durfee Hilltoppers and the Brockton Boxers. I'm joined alongside my broadcast partner for tonight's festivities, Lynn Tartaglia. Lynn, how you doing? Hello, Matthew. This looks like it's going to be a good matchup as the Lady Boxers have only lost two games, and one of them is to the Durfee Hilltoppers, so it's a nice big three matchup tonight. And the big three, you win the division, you make the playoffs. It's as simple as that. So a very big game for both of these teams as we get ready for the opening tip-off here. And here we go. And Tatiana Diaz just brings the ball up. Takes it back out. She's going to look to set up a play to the freshman, number 23, Jelani Jackson. Swings it back to Tati. Over to Janasha. Looks like the Lady Boxers are going to take their time tonight. Out to Janasha for three. And a nice rebound. Nice boxing out by Durfee. And the Hilltops will bring the ball up. Hey, look the dump. Oh, another three shot. Three and it's good. Durfee takes a 3-0 lead early in this first quarter. Tatiana drives down the lane and she is fouled. Fouled by number 14 for Durfee. It looks like Tatiana will be shooting two at the line. And the first one is good. Tatiana is probably one of the best free throw shooters on the boxer team. And she's two for two. So Brockton now within one as Durfee still leads by a score of three to two with seven minutes and 15 seconds left here in the first quarter. Should mention BCA Sports in conjunction with the Brockton High School Television Production Club tonight, of which Ms. Tartaglia is the student advisor for that. And your former teacher. And, and my former teacher. Still one of my favorite teachers at Brockton High School. Oh, thank you. Oh, number 14 just shot another three-pointer. That one did not go in. Janesha with a rebound. Tatiana looks to shoot a three. Swings it back to Janesha. She's also a great shooter for the Lady Boxers. Tatiana looks to drive it in again. Hands it off. Great pass by number 22, Tatiana Diaz, but they couldn't finish it. And the Lady Hilltoppers, they get another rebound. See what we got, Kentucky. No Jalen Jackson, number three Kentucky. for Durfee. Looking around, she's looking to drive it. Swings it out to number 14. She's going to hit the three-pointer, another three-pointer. Three. No good. And Brockton gets the easy rebound. And Janesha is bringing it up quick. She looks to drive. Nice job by Janesha. Brings it in. No foul is called. Ball is out of bounds. Looks like it'll be Durfee's ball. ball. All Durfee's shots so far have been three-point attempts, making one for three. Sit on it, three. Looks like this time they're setting the play, trying to get it in. They get it inside to number 14 for the Durfee Hilltoppers. Over 15 with to drive, and another three. Number 22 for Durfee, and it's good. So Durfee now leads by a score of six to two. As Giannisha Silvermore takes it up for the Brockton Boxers. Swings over to Tatiana Diaz, looks to drive it in again. Nice pass inside. Nice block by Durfee. She gets one rebound and puts it in for two. The score is now six to four with the Hilltoppers in the lead with those two three-point shots. Oh, and Tatiana Diaz, nice steal. Good steal. Good steal She's looking over to pass it. She slows it down. No one is ready. Nice kick out to number 24. Oh, shot's a little long, but Janesha's there for the boxers with the rebound. Nice aggressive play by Janesha, number four, who kicks it out to 23, the freshman for the Lady Boxers. Tatiana looks to shoot a three, takes it around, kicks it back out to number 23. It's Jelani Jackson. Jelani Jackson, and it's Janesha again, number four, shoots it, but just didn't go in. Good job, David. And Durfee's number three is fouled. It's trying to take Jackson. it into the offensive zone, and it will be an inbounding foul. 
I think Tatiana was trying to steal that again. She just took one. But this time, the call for the foul. And number 14 for the Hilltop is looking to drive it in, but she can't get inside. Kicks it back out. And number three, Jalen Jackson, number 22. With the long way, no good. Kind of a wild shot there. Boxes with the rebound nonetheless. Tatiana Diaz, number 22, bring it up again up the middle. And the foul was called before the shot, so there'll be no shooting on this foul. It'll be Boxer's ball. So Matt, how do you think the game's going so far? It's a quick pace, um, Brockton with stingy, stringy defense, forcing the Durfee Hilltoppers to shoot only outside three-point shots. And they've only been successful on two of them. So Brockton's defense, good. And the offense, I've seen a lot of good things out of their offense as Giannisha Silvermore takes it for the Brockton Marshes. Lays it up, no good. Nice drive by Janisha, almost making that. Once her shots start falling, Boxes should put a lot of points on the board. And Boxes oh, set up. Out of bounds off Turkey, so Brockton mm -hmm. will inbound it. And they kick it back out to Tatiana Diaz. Johnny Jackson 20. for three. No, no good. good. And Durfee comes away with the rebound. So the score is six to four with just under four minutes remaining here in the first period. A nice block by Lady Box is coming up with the rebound. Nice job by Excellent shot. Asia Silvermore. Nice drive down the lane, gets a rebound, takes it in. Opportunity shot for the three point play. Push the pull off and she'll be at the line. No, uh, go. There if he makes a substitution. So Janae will be shooting one at the line after hitting that shot, trying to finish up a three-point play here for the boxers. Nice and shot. She nice does. Follow through. So the Brockton boxers have their first lead of the game, seven to six in favor of the Brockton boxers. With three minutes and 30 seconds left in the first period. Quarter round. A nice pick off by the boxers, almost. Except Durfee ends up back with the ball. And Durfee oh, nice is top by number 14. just inside the line for two points. And the boxers are making a substitute. The score now eight to seven with the Hilltoppers in the lead. That is number 11, Tony Fairhurst, entering the game for Number 35, Aliyah Brito. And the boxes are swinging it around. They kick it back out to Jamesha. She's looking to drive it in. Jackson back, back to Tatiana, Tatiana looking for three. She takes it in for the drive. Nice move Lays by it Tatiana up and Diaz. Brockton takes the lead back nine to eight as Durfee brings it up the court. Durfee with another three point attempt, no good. Good, and number 23 again. Freshman for the Lady Boxes, Jelani Jackson takes it up and in, drives the lane. Oh, nice shot, Excellent right in the shot. paint. That's good for two, and the Boxes are in the lead now, 11 to eight. Jordan and Carson, Jordan and Carson, Suffolk. Stay side, Jordan. Brockton with very stringy defense. Durfee still to this point has just one two point attempt. And they shoot another three off the end of the rim and out. And Durfee shooter is fouled so she will be going to the line for two shots and Brockton makes another substitution. Number 14 enters the game, Nadia Montero. Uh, Jay, uh, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. She replaces number Break. 24, Catherine Lewis. Break. Oh, nice defense by uh, Janae. The, that the lady boxes. Right Almost picking that one off. One fall out, one fall out. And it's Durfee's ball. Nice rebound for the boxers there. Number 11, Tony Fairhurst. Gets it out to Tati, she's taking it up. 
tosses it over to Jelani Jackson, who takes it again for the shot. This time it didn't fall. And the Hilltoppers get the rebound again, number 14. The Lady Hilltoppers have been great on the boards. Turfy with another three attempt, no good. And Brockton comes away with the rebound. Tatiana Diaz takes it up the court for Brockton. Swings it out to Giannisha, her three attempt way high and it goes out of pounds off of Brockton. Durfee rather, so it will be Brockton ball. Jackson for three. for three. No good. No good. Once again, number 14 for the Lady Hilltops. Down another rebound. Is it deep? Durfee yeah. just puts their second two point field goal up as we cross the one minute remaining mark here in the first quarter. Brockton leads the Durfee Hilltoppers by a score of 11 to 10. It looks like the boxers will be shooting two again. That is Giannisha Silvermore. And she's one for one at the line today. Let's see if she can make these two. And Tatiana Diaz, the captain for the Lady Boxes, has just been substituted out. About 50 seconds left in the first period. Quarter. <laughs> So Giannisha Silvermore misses both of her free throw attempts. However, Durfee unable to control the rebound. Knocks it out of bounds and Brockton will have an opportunity here to be inbounded by Catherine Lewis, number 24 for the Brockton Boxers. Jelani Jackson for three. No good. Nice rebound for the Boxers, but she throws it away and the Hilltoppers end up with the ball. With about 35 seconds left, the Boxers leading by one, 11 to 10. Hey, good job, Rick. Oh, and she picks up the foul. Looks like she'll be going to the line. Yeah. Number 14 for Durfee ties the score at 11 apiece. And she's got one more attempt. She sinks it, so Durfee takes the lead back with 30 seconds remaining in the first period. 12 to 11, your score. g Nation Silvermore takes it up for the Brockton Boxers. Oh, and they're looking to get it inside, but Hilltoppers pick the ball off, and number 22 takes it up quick. Good defense by g Nation, the Lady Boxers to have her lose it. Number 24 is driving it in. Catherine Lewis up, no good. Nice Genesha rebound by g Nation to be there. For two, and Brockton takes the lead back, 13 to 12, with five seconds left. The long attempt by half court, no good. So going into the first intermission, we'll call it, Brockton leads the Durfee Hilltoppers by a score of 13 to 12. Mad Dog Matt Nelson alongside my broadcast partner, Lynn Tartaglia. A good first quarter win. <laughs> yes, Matthew, they've been playing very aggressive both sides. What do you think? I'm liking what I see out of the Brockton boxes. They're going to clean up the passing a little bit. And if they do that, it should be a very high scoring game for the Brockton boxers. Well, they are forcing Durfee to shoot the outside shot. Well, it's a much better game than the first meeting they had against Durfee. The boxers with only two losses, one of them is to the Hilltoppers. So the score is Boxers 13, Lady Hilltoppers 12. As we head into the second quarter. Inbound the ball to start the second quarter. And 
it's stolen by Tatiana Diaz. She's looking for the dunk. She lays it off and in. Goodness. Nice defense by the Lady Boxers being aggressive there. And they take the lead 15 to 12. Set for two. Oh, nobody's there for the rebound. Except for Janacia Silvermore for the Lady Boxers. Takes it up, kicks it up to Tatiana Diaz for three. And it's good. Nice job. Tatiana has five points in less than 40 seconds into the second quarter of this game. Brockton starting to open it up. They now lead by six points, 18 to 12. And once again, they're forcing them outside. Nice rebound. Jelani Jackson takes it up. Fast break for the Brockton Boxers. Nice try by Jelani Jackson. She just lost control of the ball there, so it'll be the Derby Hilltoppers ball. For the score, 18 to 12, Boxers in the lead. Derby makes a couple of substitutions. And Tatiana tried to pick that one off, now she's chasing it. But the Boxers are all back on defense now. That's Bionic Mara trying to send it in. 50, it gets kicked out 50, by Brockton. 50, the Hilltoppers end up with the ball. Nice pass inside there to Bionic ah, Hammer, but she gets called hey, for a travel. Go, go, nice defense go, by the Lady Boxers. Durfee finally brings it inside go, the three-point line, and they end up traveling. Come in, Remy, Remy, come so in, Brockton with very, very good defense here thus far in this game as Jelani Jackson has it now for the Brockton Boxers. It looked like the Hilltoppers there were trying to set a press in the boxes, but they broke it pretty easily there, and now they lose control of it. And it's Hilltoppers' ball. And the score remains, Boxers 18, Hilltoppers 12. And Tatiana sneaks in there trying to do another steal. Looks like the Lady Boxers are now man-to-man -man defense here. That goes free, that goes free! Oh, nice pass by number three, the Eddie Hilltoppers. And Durfee scores another two-point field goal. So 18 to 14 the score. And the boxers once again, they break that press pretty easily. They got a nice outside shot, but it just didn't fall. Well, once again, Tatiana picks it off. I think it's almost a third steal, I think, Matt. That is her third steal of the game, but she loses possession through her legs and out of bounds, so Durfee takes over. Yep, nice try, the nice aggressive defense here by the boxers. Good job, Ray. We'll take it. Yes. Ah. The shooter is fouled as she put the shot attempt up, so she will go to the line for two shots. Camera. I think she's hit a couple of three pointers here too in this game. She misses the first one. And she was successful her last time at the free throw line. Oh, and she misses both of them. And Janacia rips down the rebound, takes it up for the Lady Boxers. Kicks it out to Jelani Jackson, who swings it over to Tatiana Diaz, number 22 for the boxers. Back to Janesha, back out to Tati. Oh, nice play by a, a burrito by the Lady Hilltoppers. Come up with a rebound. Regular Kentucky. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. That bounces off the top of the backboard, so that is ruled out of bounds. Genesha hey, Silvermore to inbound it for the Brockton Boxers. And it looks like Dorothy is trying to set a trap on the press, but no, once again, Brockton breaks that pretty easily. And they kick it out to the corner, back to Jelani Jackson. Out to Janesha Silvermore, back to Tati, and they swing it up, coming our way. I think there's a little miscommunication there, Matt. What do you think? Just a little bit of miscommunication as 
it was in the area of two Brockton boxes, but they kind of split up different ways and the pass went right between them. I think they were looking for you to shoot the three. I can dunk it. I'm sure you can. I might be 5'6", but I can dunk. And then you woke up. And then I woke <laughs> up. Another foul on the boxers. Hey, Lakers! Try to hang around. Score remains 18 to 14 with four minutes and 18 seconds left in this second period from Staff Gymnasium at Brockton High School. Iowa, Iowa! Nice pass trying to get inside, but nice defense by the Lady Boxers to stop that. Like I said they've been having a hard time trying to get that in the paint. Ten. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, Jump ball job. called. Excellent job by the captain of the Brockton Boxers, Tatiana Diaz, forcing that jump ball. Looks like Lady Boxers will have a substitution Whoa. in. Tony Fairhurst will be entering the game for the Lady Boxers. With just under four minutes left in the second quarter, the Lady Boxers are up, 18 to 14. And Jelani Jackson makes it up. Offensive rebound in, Tony Fairhurst puts it up and in. 20 to 14, your score. Derby takes it up court. Oh, it looks like it'll be Brockton ball again. Once again, great defense by the Lady Boxers. And Tatiana Diaz looks to take it up. Passes to Lonnie Jackson. Over to Janesha, who drives it in. She's looking for the foul, but does not get it. Looks like it'll still be boxers ball underneath the net. Tanisha Silvermore to inbound it to Tatiana Diaz. Oh, nice drive by Tatiana. She gets stuck there, still gets it. Nice drive and in by Tatiana Diaz. With the score now 22 to 14 with the Lady Boxers taking an eight point lead, their biggest lead of the game. And Tatiana almost picked off another one. Tatiana Diaz doing it all for the Brockton Boxers tonight. And Jelani Jackson was looking to get it out to her, but one of the dirty Hilltops was back on defense. So the Boxers will take it out, swing it around. Over to Nation for three. Oh. Nice try by the Boxers. And a timeout is called like by out. the head coach of the Durfee Hilltoppers with two minutes and 40 seconds remaining here in the second period. Brockton leads Durfee by a score of 22 to 14. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action alongside my broadcast partner for tonight's festivities, Lynn Tartaglia. Was that Mad Dog Matt Nelson you go Mad by? Dog Matt, Matt Nelson. Dog. Is there a reason for that? That's just kind of uh, goes with the Eminem there, Mad Dog. The, the Mad Eminem. All right. <laughs> so my supervisor at Brockton Community Access, Jay Miller. When he first met me, he just came up with Mad Dog and the nickname stuck. So now I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson. <laughs> oh. And they keep hinting to get back out there and both coaches haven't had the girls go back. Now finally Brockton's on the floor. With two minutes and 40 seconds left in the second quarter, the boxers are leading 22 to 14. The Hilltoppers are. Heading out to the court now. And it's the Hilltoppers ball. Oh. A quick little pass in there, Matt. <laughs> Nothing wrong with stepping up the action a little bit. Uh, Tatiana was going for another steal in this quarter, but this time she gets called for a foul against number three, Jalen Jackson for the Durfee Hilltoppers. Oh, almost back court hey, there. On, and Jalen Jackson takes it up. Looks like they keep looking to try and get inside the paint, but once again, the boxes are keeping them outside. And Jalen Jackson, she sends it over to Brianna Kamara, who shoots it again, and she will be called. 
Doesn't have a foul against her, and she'll be going to the line for two. I think she has six points already today. She was at the line a little while back and was 0 for 2, so we'll see what she can do here. Brianna Cameron, the captain of the Derby Hilltoppers, scores on her first free throw attempt, 22 to 15. Now your score, Durfee is in the bonus, so Brockton with seven fouls called against them. So now any foul committed by the Brockton boxers, regardless of whether it's a shooting foul or not, will give the Durfee Hilltoppers. That was a nice drive by Jalen Jackson. Number three for the Durfee Hilltoppers. Just all right, all right. Shoots that right in the box has easily break the press with Tatiana Diaz taking it up by about, I think, all five players she got by. She loses it and it's really blocked and ball and we hear some moans and groans from the Durfee bench. I think they're happy with the call, but looks like it'll be boxer's ball. Looks like it went off one of the Hilltopper's foot, so it will be boxer's ball underneath the net. And they send out to Tati, she looks to take the three. But instead drives it in and oh, almost picked up, but she stays with it and gets the foul, driving the lane. Nice job by Tatiana Diaz to stay with that. Tatiana Diaz will be headed to the line for two shots. Brockton about to enter the bonus. Durfee has five fouls called against them. Tati misses that first one. The boxers in the lead, 22 to 17. Second. And it's no good. Nice rebound by number 11, Tony Fairhurst for the Lady Boxers. Gets in for the rebound. Tati goes for another steal, but ends up sliding out there of out of bounds. Nice job by Tatiana Diaz again on defense. Very aggressive, just kind of sneaking in there and grabbing the ball. And Jalen Jackson, number three for the Hilltop. She just did that shot last time. It fell, but this time. Not Tony Fairhurst with the Lakers. quick pass, trying to find Tatiana Diaz. No connection, and it goes out of bounds. Durfee ball. Wear him, wear him. Once again, Jalen Jackson is taking it up for the Durfee Hilltoppers. She kicks it outside. They swing it around. Hey, two bad games. Brianna Kamara, the captain for Durfee. Two bad again. Looks like she was looking to drive, three, but didn't. Sets a nice pick for. Number three and kicks it back out. And Jalen's up for three. No, falls short. The fourth. Janisha tosses up to Tatiana Diaz. Nice oh, break for the Lady Boxers. Nice fast break from Janisha to Tatiana Diaz for two. And the score is now 26 17 with the Lady Boxers in the lead with less than one minute left to the half. Jalen Jackson kicks it out to Brianna Camaro, number 14 for the Hilltoppers. Who swings over number 15, Nicole. Oh, and Janisha almost has another steal for Lady Boxers. They are very aggressive here tonight. Matthew Mad Dog Nelson, or is it Mad Dog Matthew Nelson? Mad Dog Matt Nelson. All right, Eminem. We have about 37 seconds left here. Brockton with excellent defense. Not just in their defensive zone, all over the court. Tatiana Diaz with a number of steals. And Durfee is called for the shot clock violation. Great defense by the boxers on that. And there's less than 30 seconds left till halftime. The score is boxers 26, Lady Hilltoppers 17. Nice passing there by Lady Boxers. Tony Fairhurst kicks it out to Tatiana Diaz. Silvermore for three. Oh, nice. nice job by Denacia Silvermore. Denacia Silvermore with the three as time expires. 29-17 at the half. Brockton leading the Durfee Hilltoppers. Mad Dog Matt Nelson alongside Lynn Tartaglia. We'll see you for the second half.
it's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, we are back at Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Durfee Hilltoppers and the Brockton Boxers. Brockton with a dominating 12 point lead. The score entering the second half, Brockton 29, Durfee 17. I'm joined alongside my broadcast partner, Lynn Tartaglia. Good first half one. Oh, great first half by the Lady Boxers. And nice try by Tatiana Diaz trying to get a three to start things off. Great rebound by Janasia, but they just couldn't get it in. And Durfee tried for the fast break there, but they couldn't connect, so it'll be Boxer's ball. And Durfee starts out with a press right in the Lady Boxes. Janasia turns around and she breaks it pretty easily. Toss it up, oh, she's cutting in, but just couldn't get it there. And Tatiana gets the ball. Out to the burrito and off the rim and out. And the ball seems to have gone loose. Everybody's running for it. And the Hilltoppers end up with the ball with a timeout called by the head coach of the Durfee Hilltoppers. That is their that is their second timeout of the game, so they have three left. Not even a minute into the second half, the third quarter. Brockton still leading by a score of 29 to 17. That was a quick time out there by the Derby Hilltoppers. What do you think of that, Matthew? I agree with it. He saw that Brockton was pressing and there was an opportunity for Brockton to take the ball or get possession off a jump ball. So he went with the quick timeout to secure possession for the Hilltoppers. And he was successful as they have the ball. Not sure I would have used a timeout this early, but for the purposes that he did, I agree with it. I think so. Durfee will take the ball up with Jalen Jackson, number three for the Hilltoppers. And they seem to always like to get the ball in the hands of Brianna Kamara, number 14 for the Hilltoppers. Back out to Jalen Jackson. They send it over looking for the three. And Jalen up with the shot, but it's no good. A rebound by the boxers, Janasha Silvermore. She takes it all the way up the court, and oh, almost in for two. Nice rebound by the boxers. Tatiana Diaz looks for the three. No, around the rim and out. Oh, a little foul there by the boxers. Nice dribbling by Jalen Jackson for the Durfee Hilltop is to pick up the first foul in this half for the boxers. So it'll be Durfee's ball. Jelani Jackson now in a little bit of foul trouble. That's her third of the game. It looks like the boxers just substituted her out. Give her a little break there. And Tati looked for the steal, but Jalen Jackson, number three of the Durfee Hilltoppers, gets right by, and it's kicked out again to number 14 for the three-point, but she can't connect. And Janasha Silvermore takes it up strong, but slows it down. Kicks out to Tatiana Diaz, who swings it back to Janasha, and back to Tatiana. Over to Catherine Lewis, who sends it back to Tatiana Diaz, and Catherine's up the three. Uh, off the rim and off the backboard over the top, so it will be the Durfee Hilltoppers ball. And the score remains 29-17 with the boxers in the lead. Nice press there by the Lady Boxers. It's just under six, about six minutes left in the third quarter here. And Tatiana Diaz has the ball, except to Tanisha for three. Oh, just a little wide to the left there off the rim and out, but the boxers get the rebound. Back to Janace, who takes in for drive. Good rebound by number 35, Leah Brito, who puts it in for two off the backboard. Nice easy shot, nice boxing out by the Lady Boxers to get the rebound. In the crowd in the for Brianna Cameron, and it's rebounded by none other than Gianesha Silvermore. Nice drive by Tatiana Diaz. 
Goes right baseline and gets it in off the backboard and in. Makes it look so easy. And here's number three, Jalen Jackson, who brings it back the other way. He's also an outstanding dribbler for the Hilltoppers. Brockton takes now leading by a score of 33 to 17 with five minutes remaining in the third quarter. Oh, nice handoff. Accidental trip there. And number 14 for the Lady Boxers. Nadia Matero will be called for the foul there. And that will be the boxer's second foul in the third quarter. Nice inside pass to find number three, Jalen Jackson, open it off the rebound and in for two. The score is now 33-19 with the boxers in the lead. And once again, the Hilltoppers are pressing, but Tatiana gets by them very easily, dishes it out. Leah Burrito, it's off the backboard, but off the rim and no good. But Giannisha gets the rebound, so more kicks it out to Tatiana Diaz for three. Uh, off the rim again. Oh, number three. Oh, nice dribbling by number three, Jalen Jackson for the Lady Hilltoppers. But Tatiana Diaz will be called for the foul. And that's her third foul of the game as well, so Brockton might substitute Tatiana Diaz out. Coach is telling to take it right in, telling Jalen Jackson to dribble right in, but she shoots it. Nice jump shot, but no good. And Janisha, some more with the rebound to Tati, drives in the lane, but she is blocked. No foul was called. Nice block by the Durfee Hilltoppers. It'll be Boxer's ball underneath. Once again, the score is Lady Boxer's 33, the Hilltoppers 19. Catherine Lewis to inbound it to Aliyah Brito who lays it up, no good. Jump ball call. And it will remain Brockton Boxer ball. What's the matter? Jelani Jackson over to Catherine Lewis for the three and it's nice good. Nice shot for Lady Boxes. Brockton extending their lead now to a differential of 17 points, 36-19 your score as we cross the four minute mark in the third quarter. That was an excellent shot by Kathleen Lewis of the boxers for three. Nice rebound by the Durfee Hilltoppers. There's a little hook shot, but it's around the rim and out. And number 23, Jelani Jackson for the boxers. He's taking it up, kicks it out to Janasha. Silver Moore. Sends it over to number 24 again for three. Catherine Lewis Catherine hits Lewis. another one. Great job by number 24, Catherine Lewis of the Lady Boxes, hitting two three-point shots in a row. The score is now 39 to 19. The Boxes extend their lead by 20. So what do you think about those shots, Matt? Two three-pointers back-to-back by number 24, Catherine Lewis. Catherine Lewis stepping up big time for the Brockton Boxes right now, forcing the Durfee Hilltoppers to take their third time out, and we're not even in the fourth quarter yet. So Catherine Lewis with quick six points, extending the lead from four, uh, 17 to now 20. And in the event that Tatiana Diaz fouls out or gets into more foul, foul trouble, I'm sure the coaches of Brockton are confident with Katherine Lewis. Well, I think after hitting both those three points, I think they have plenty of reason to be confident with her playing. So three minutes and 29 seconds remaining in the third quarter here from Staff Gymnasium. Mad Dog Matt Nelson alongside Lynn Tartaglia bringing you all the action tonight for BCA Sports in conjunction with the Brockton High School Television Production Club. Number 15 for Durfee will inbound the ball. And Jalen Jackson drives it in the lane and the foul is called. On Catherine Lewis, number 24, the Lady Box, as I believe that was called on. And it's Durfee's ball underneath. Oh, nice defense by the boxers. They almost had five-second call. That nice block. 
by Catherine Lewis. She's doing on both ends of the court. Nice pass up, but Janice just couldn't hold on. Oh, and a foul was called. Looked like a tripping call. No, not a foul. Just it'll be okay. it'll be actually Subs. Hilltopper's ball out of bounds. I thought they called a foul there, but no. Jelani Jackson in some serious foul trouble now. She's got her fourth foul of the game. So Tatiana Diaz comes back into the game replacing Jelani Jackson. It seems like the guards are picking up a lot of fouls in this game, Matthew. And with the, the stringent defense, sometimes it, it can get a little bit chippy and fouls can come fast and heavy. Oh, and travel right. is called that time. I think Jalen Jackson's dribbling and driving lane has caused a lot of fouls by the boxers, but traveling on this call. I know she only weighs 90 pounds. Durfee Hilltop's coach is not happy with that call. But nonetheless, it'll be Box's ball. He's squawking at the ref, telling the referee that one of his oh. Durfee Hilltoppers weighs only 90 pounds and that, that, was, that, that was wasn't a travel. Ball, Once again, the ball is in the hands of Jalen Jackson, number three for the Durfee Hilltoppers. Durfee's coach picking up a bench warning for squawking at the referee and the referee trying to get a handle back on this game. And if either of the referees decide that Durfee's coach is out of line, he will receive a technical foul. And nice pick by number 11, Tony Fairhurst. It was a little give and go there for the boss. for three. for three. That's no good. Fall short off the rim. Get up trying to get it again into number 11. They're trying to get it in the paint, but they just couldn't. And it ends up a jump ball underneath. It looks like it'll be Durfee's ball. 39 to 19, your score. Brockton still leads by 20 points with two minutes and 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Oh, nice try again by Tatiana Defense. She has been outstanding on picking these balls off on defense. She has been on the floor a lot today. She's just sacrificing the body. Diving all over the place in every which way, direction, trying to do whatever she can to get the ball. The box is really aggressive here with a man-to-man -man press deep in the third quarter with only two minutes left with a 20-point lead. Oh, they find her in the paint. Nice cut. Number 22 for Durfee. Jalen Jackson for the three-pointers, but it's no good. Great rebound by Catherine, Catherine Lewis. Lewis again. And here goes Janesha. Oh, nice stop. I think she just lost control of the ball. Nice fast break by the Durfee Hilltoppers, and the foul will be called. It looks like Brianna Camaro will be going to the line again. On 24, Catherine Lewis for the Lady Boxers picks up another foul. And Brianna Camaro will be shooting too. Catherine Lewis with her second foul of the game. And she makes the first shot, so the score is now 39 to 20 with boxers in the lead. And she hits both of them. Tatiana Diaz now for the Brockton boxers. Trying to set something up. An illegal pick, I think it was called there on number 11 for the boxers, Tony Fairhurst. So it looks like. It will be Durfee's ball. The boxers now have six fouls with only a minute and a half left in the third quarter. And once again, the ball is in the hands of Brianna Kamara, number 14 for Durfee. Kicks it back out to Jalen Jackson, who drives the lane. She's trying to pick up a foul, kicks it back out for two, and it's no good. Foul being called. I'm not sure what that call. What was that call, Matthew? It looks like a foul on 14 for the Lady Boxers, Nadia Montero. Not sure what the call is. However, Durfee now entering the bonus. Mm -hmm. Cameron shooting a one-on-one -on -one situation at the line. 
right through the legs of Tatiana Lewis and out of bounds. It will be Durfee's ball. One minute and nine seconds left in the third quarter. 49 to 21 year score. Brockton leading by 18 points. But Durfee pressing here as of late. A nice shot by the Durfee Hilltoppers. They did a little pick and roll and picked it out. Nice shot by number 22 for the Durfee Hilltoppers. Just and inside the line. takes it up. <laughs> the score is 39 to 23 with the boxers in the lead. And Tatiana Diaz for three. And it's off the backboard. It looks like it'll be Durfee's ball. And once again, the boxers setting up to do a man-to-man -man press. As Durfee has cut their lead by 16 points. I mean, boxers have cut their lead. Hey, Kentucky, this side. Do you want to go play Brockton leads Thank by you. 16 you points. <laughs> It was the math confusing me. <laughs> Another three-pointer for Derby. It's no good. Captain Lewis Catherine with the Lewis. rebound up to Giannisha Silvermore. It's up, up to Tatiana. She drives in the lane and picks up the foul. So with 18.9 seconds left, Tatiana Diaz will head to the line to shoot two. This is her first one. And goes over two at the line. Durfee with the rebound. And they're gonna try to hold on for the last shot here. Or they could shoot another <laughs> three attempts with 10 seconds remaining. Oh, oh no, the ball just pick up another foul. Foul called. On number 14, Adia Montero. And that is her fourth of the game, so she's entering some serious foul trouble as well. Brianna Cameron for Durfee heads to the line again with six seconds remaining in the third quarter. She hits her first. <laughs> What do you think, Matthew, with the boxers in foul trouble here? Do you think that'll be a factor in the fourth quarter? They've got to protect the superstars. They've got to protect Catherine Lewis. She's got four. They've got to protect Tatiana Diaz. She's got four. And I believe Giannisha Silva Moore has three fouls, so they've got to be careful of all of them. They are the most impactful players so far in this game. Nice drive at the end by Tatiana Diaz, but it does not fall, and she does not pick up the foul. So the third quarter ends with the boxers in the lead, 39 to 25. Durfee stepping it up in that third quarter. The score might not say it, but Durfee had the advantage, especially in the second half of that third quarter, as far as pressing the ball and getting the opportunities goes. And I think Matthew heading into the fourth quarter, these, the boxers there having eight fouls as a team. That could have an impact because it looks like Derby has some great foul shooters. Brockton, they got to be careful. They got to do whatever they can to not have personal fouls, especially for the likes of Tatiana Diaz. Catherine Lewis hit those big three pointers, but she's in foul trouble. Nadia Montero now with four fouls, and Giannisha Silva Moore with a couple of fouls as well. So they've really got to watch out and keep their star players in the mix here for this fourth quarter. Durfee already in the bonus, so it could come down to if Durfee can hit more free throws than the Brockton boxers. Well, they'll probably be going to the line more. <laughs> the boxers are, in, are already in the penalty here. And here we go, start the fourth quarter. Tatiana Diaz for the Brockton boxers. Catherine Lewis for three. Nice shot by Catherine Lewis, but just didn't fall. And Jalen Jackson once again has the ball. Taking it up, I have a feeling she might be driving it to get some fouls. Takes it in, kicks it out. Three for three, nice no good. Shot. Nice shot there, nice rebound, and kicked out to 22. And she picks up, Tatiana picks up the foul. Hey, 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 hey. hey. 
somebody guard here? And Durfee's coach screaming out instructions, and Durfee left Giannisha Silvermore completely uncovered for the easy inbound. Durfee looking for the full court press. That was a nice pass in the paint by Leo Grieto. Nice picked up by Jalen Jackson. Durfee ends up with the ball, taking it up. They could cut this lead. And she takes it in, but I think that's going to be a traveling. I think she was looking to pick up the foul, but Brockton backed off her. So she was caught with the ball and got called for traveling. Now the Durfee Hilltop is a pressing. And Tatiana sends it right up to Janesha. They break the press very easily, the boxers. Up no good. Good offensive board by Catherine Lewis. And a traveling called on number 22, Tatiana Diaz. Durfee ball. 39 to 25. Now your score with six minutes and 52 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Go. Hey, circle, circle, Jamie Jackson now brings it up for the Durfee Hilltoppers. A nice block by Leah Burrito for the Lady Lee. Boxers against number 14, Brianna Camara. The Derby Hilltoppers. And it remains Derby's ball underneath. And they kick it out to number 22, Pauline Feidenberg, who's just a little bit short there. I think that might have been a three pointer, but it falls short. And Giannisha, with a fast break down to Tatiana Diaz underneath the paint, and she picks, she picks up, up, the, up foul. the foul. Nice job by Tatiana Diaz being patient there. And the foul will be called against the Durfee Hilltoppers, and Tatiana Diaz will be going to the line for two. This is her first one, and Tatiana Diaz not having a good day at the foul line. Which is unusual for her. She is one of their better free throw shooters on the team. And then she hits she that hits one. Her second. So the boxers hit 40, the score is now 40 to 25. The Lady Boxers in the lead with around six minutes to go. And the Lady Hilltoppers get the ball in the hands of Brianna Kamara, who passes it back out to Jalen Jackson. And Jalen goes to drive it in. Back to Brianna Kamara. And they're up for three and it's good. So a nice three point shot by the Lady Hilltoppers. Durfee moves to within striking distance now. Just a 12 point differential and Durfee now has the ball. Looked like on that one the boxes were kind of rushing the play there. So it ends up Durfee's ball. With a score of 40 to 28, they've now cut the lead by 12. Durfee with another three pointer, no good off the rim. Durfee with the rebound, oh, Brianna Cameron for three. Nice good. shot. And Brianna Cameron, and it looks like the boxes were the timeout. So Durfee moves to back within single digit deficit here. Now down by nine points, 40 to 31, with some serious opportunity brewing here in this fourth quarter. And Brockton in foul trouble, so they're not trying to pressure the ball as much. Five minutes and 37 seconds remaining, and Brockton forced to call a timeout after Durfee scored a couple of buckets in a row. That last one was, that's the one that really hurt. It was a three pointer again by Brianna Kamara to add to her total for the day. Once again, the score is Lady Boxes 40 and the Hilltoppers 31 with five and a half minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. And it's Boxes ball with the Hilltoppers pressing deep. And they try and trap Tatiana Diaz. She gets it to Catherine Lewis. They try and set the trap there, but the box have been great in breaking these presses. And the last thing heard out of that timeout from the Durfee coach was, we've got a lot of free throws to shoot. Take it easy. 
Tatiana drives lead, fakes the three, drives lane, but can't pick up the foul. And Hilltop has ended up with the ball, but Jalen Jackson taking it up quickly. And she kicks it out to number 22, Molly Feinberg, who hits it again for three. Number 22 for Durfee, really cutting this box of deficit now, six points, which by Durfee standards is two, two standard shots, as most of their shots tonight have come outside the line. Oh, Matt, that was great boxing out there underneath the net. The boxers needed those two points by number 14, Nadia Montero. Nice rebound on the scores, 42 to 34. With Durfee in control of the ball. Oh, nice pass. And no Durfee looking for the foul. But they Durfee's lose the coach ball and looks towards the, ball. the ceiling here at Staff Gymnasium, begging for a call and some foul throws. He won't get them. Once again, the Hilltoppers are pressing, but the boxers make it look so easy to break that. And number 11 for Tony the boxers Fairhurst. lays it up and in. Tony Fairhurst for the easy two. So the score is now 44-34. Boxers extend their lead by 10. But the Hilltoppers come back, driving the lane, and the boxers get another foul, and they'll be going to the line for two. Number 11, Tony Fairhurst with her second foul of the game. It's probably the only boxer not in foul trouble right now. Mm -hmm. And Nicole Emsley will be shooting her second foul shot. She hit the first one, so the score is now 44 to 35, with the boxers remain in the lead with four minutes and about 20 seconds left. And she hits the second one. I think these foul shots could come back to haunt the boxers, where they got in foul trouble so early in the second half. Tatiana. Kicks it out to number 24 for three. Catherine Lewis, but this one falls short. Nice hustle by Janasia, but it ends up in the hands of Pauline Feinberg for the drive in for two. And they cut their lead and to the six. And football pass from Tatiana Diaz to Janasia Silva Moore. Nice, and she drives it in, picks up the foul, and she'll be going to line for two. So the score is now 44 to 38 with the boxers in the lead. Let's go! This is her first one. And if there's ever been such a thing as an important free throw, it's right now. Then she hits it. Nice job, Janesha. She never looks like she's under pressure. One of the best shooters when there's pressure. Number three, Jaden Jackson again. Taking it up nice. Excellent by Tony Fairhurst. But Durfee gets the ball back. And Jalen Jackson again going for the drive. The wild shot up. Nobody was there for Brockton on the rebound. But the sends second it up to shot Tony doesn't go in. in. Oh. And that's going to be a backcourt uh, back yep. violation. Nice try by the boxers. They call for backcourt violation. So, Matthew, there's three minutes and 25 seconds left. The score, Lady Boxers, 45. The Hilltoppers, 38. Rocking in serious foul trouble here. It's Durfee now pressing with the ball. Durfee for three, no good. Was for three, nice rebound. That oh, looks like they're fighting over it. I'm not sure. I think the foul will be on the Hilltoppers, number three, Jalen Jackson. She reached over the shoulder of Tatiana Diaz trying to get to the ball. Nice aggressive play by both teams. And Durfee now with the full court press trying to catch up here as they're down by seven points. Nice three point play now by Jelani Jackson. By 10 Steps points. The game for three. 48 to Great 38 shot. your score. Jelani Jackson for three. As we cross the three minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Jalen Jackson went for the drive there, I think looking for the foul, because they know the boxers are in foul trouble, but didn't pick it up, so now number 15 drives it in. Nice drive, nice boxing out by both teams. Kicks it back out, though. 
Number 34 from way outside, no good. Oh, oh, bodies seem to be flying everywhere. Here. Bodies flying everywhere here. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. On the floor at Staff Gymnasium, Gymnasia Silvermore hit the floor as well as a couple of hilltoppers. And hey, we're one and one, we're live. I don't think anybody knows where the ball is supposed to be going right now. Actually, I think they called the boxers for a foul on that, Matthew. I mean, the Derpy Hilltoppers. Well, we see Gina Silvermore lining up at the free throw line. So hey, we're live. she'll get a couple of more balls. important free throws as Brockton is up by 10. No good on the first, and that was a one-on-one -on -one situation. So Derpy comes yeah, away with teams the in foul trouble, so that, see how that plays out. And an errant pass by Jalen Jackson pushes the ball out of bounds over towards our cameraman Bruno. <laughs> Two minutes and ten seconds left here in the fourth quarter. 48 to 28 your score. Brockton Boxers lead the Durfee Hilltoppers. And a double dribble called on Tatiana Diaz, and she looks, let's try to find the right word here, uh, displeased with that call. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, it is the Derby Hilltoppers ball. Brianna Cameron for three. No good. And Catherine Lewis with the rebound. Tawana Jackson brings it up now for the Brockton Boxers up to Tatiana Diaz. Tatiana Diaz looks to shoot the three. But it looks like they've been stalled for time here. And there's a three by Janacia Silvermore. Janacia Silvermore. One of the offensive MB MVPs for the Brockton Boxers puts in the three-pointer. 51 to 38, your score with one minute and 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Durfee has the ball looking to answer that three-pointer, probably with another three-pointer of their own. Rim, no good. Rebound. And number 11, Tony Fairhurst called for a hit to the head to number 15 for the Durfee Hilltoppers, and she is at the line shooting two. First one sits on the edge of the rim. No good. Less than a minute and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. And the second one is no good, so the score remains. Boxers 51, Hilltoppers 38, with Janacia Silvermore taking up the line. Jelani Jackson Tip from way outside, no good. I love a substitution. And another substitution for Durfee. Fifty-one to thirty-eight. Your score. One minute, nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. As Jalen Jackson brings it up for the Durfee Hilltoppers. Football pass from Janisha Silvermore to Tatiana Diaz, able to keep it in bounds. Out to Janisha Silvermore for three. No good. Drive by the Hilltoppers, a hit shot there by number 10. Put it in for two, and the score is 51 40. But Moore lays Boxers it up come and right in. back with two of their own. The score is now 53, Lady Boxers. Hilltoppers 40, with less than 20 seconds left in this game. Once again, this is a big three game. The Hilltoppers had previously beat the Boxers, and it looks like the Lady Boxers are going to pull off the win here tonight. Jelani Jackson just holding on for the last five seconds. I want to take this opportunity to thank the crew for today's festivities. On the Brockton Community Access side, we've got the one, the only, the worldwide famous director, award-winning director, I should say, Paul Mandeville, and cinematographer extraordinaire Aaron Tebow. I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Miss T, how about the uh, Brockton High School Television Production Club side? Who do we got? 
We have Mr. Bruno on camera. We have Zachary on camera. Then we have Watner on camera, and we can't leave out Shamandra doing the graphics. <laughs> well, we want to thank everybody from the Brockton High School Television Production Club, Mad Dog Matt Nelson, for everyone here at BCA Sports and the Brockton High School Television Production Club. Brockton with the big win, 53 to 40. Big three divisional win. We will see you next game here at Staff Gymnasium. Thanks for watching.